This is my son, Gregory. I'm very proud of my son. He's achieved a lot at a very young age. Today is a great day, very important. Today is the day that Gregory is back. About six months ago, we had a row, we quarrelled, we fell out. <laughs> he told me he didn't want to see me again. I started asking neighbours, passers-by. Nobody knew anything. I tried to get in touch with my daughter, Marguerite. But in vain. She didn't even want to open the door for me. Anyway, what can I say? After a while, I was losing sleep. In fact, sleep, the very idea of sleep, had become a luxury. Then the problem came up. The problem. and I wanted to solve it on my own. I, I wanted to, to work it out, to get to the bottom of it. I didn't want anybody else. Nobody. Just me.
then I realized that there was just one and only one sentence I wanted to hear at that moment. Here, I looked at the calendar. I checked the dates. Yes, it was the day of Gregory's birthday. Gregory's back! I called my daughter, Margarita. She came. I didn't expect it. But she seemed dissatisfied, unhappy about something. You're the one who needs a doctor. There was nothing else I could do, though, to persuade her. No, I had to get rid of her. And I had to escort her out of the house for Gregory's sake, for his safety. He was at risk with Margarita around. So out she went. One day... One day she will understand. There's just one thing that frightens me. Here, page Sometimes I worry. I feel bad about what has happened to Gregory. But then I'm happy because at least I've got him with me. One day he might become the old. Gregory. That frightens me. I prefer the new Gregory. He doesn't make a sound. He doesn't utter a word. The only thing he wants is merely to be. (laughs) 